Hello, it's John Neal here again, and I'm going to show you how I've done this board here, uh, which is for a pub just up the road where Jericho are playing. It just so happens I'm part of Jericho. Me and Eric are Jericho, and this is a gig we're going to do. So this is a, a board I'm doing for the pub, and uh, I'll show you how it's all put together. But before we get going, I must uh, just remind you of my website where you can get the full size DVD. Uh, 35 minutes of all the stuff that I've done and uh, some more and it's on jrenimages.co.uk with the W's first of course okay if you go to the appropriate page you can pay for um, the DVD with PayPal and I'll ship it anywhere in the world in the United States anywhere it's all the same price just pay the money and it'll be on its way to you thanks <laughs> I'm going to use all these colours, uh, blues for the sky and brown and orange for the foreground. You could use different ones. I've used green previously for foreground and you can use other colours for the sky. You can make a bit of a sunset if you wanted to. But uh, this is what I'm using. Here we go. Well, as a sign writer, of course, it's important that my public persona is kept up to scratch and there's nothing like uh, keeping personal appearances. So you do need a hairdryer to uh, keep yourself in good order. Oh, oh, oh. oh, and it's also useful for drying off the paint. There will be more advice on personal grooming later on, including uh, moustache maintenance. Very important. Right, this is where the basic work pays off and we can now put the uh, the white line around which starts to finish the whole thing off. I'll tie up the very edges and get them nice and crisp with a small white at the very last minute. But meantime, here goes with a big one. Nice flat edge straight onto the, uh, the white line. Next stage is the black outline. This is great to pull off the um, overlap effect. And then just to enhance that, while it's still a little bit damp, you can just pull a shadow across onto the other side like that. Right now we're going to just put uh, a line on these corners and while they're still wet, I'm just leave them a second, these are the shadow corners so they're the ones which are in the dark and then just pull them across to give a nice effect. I'm going to try and enhance that metallic effect by using um, a grey and just put some lines going through and also a black. Don't overdo it. it gives some impression of some extra reflections and things going on. horizon line which is going to be a black line right across the middle there
Bring on the music. Da -da -da -da. Let me just say something about the letter S. Um, obviously it goes round that outside line there becomes the inside line. And then now the thickness is that thickness there and that thin is there. Now that thick turns into the thin at the very bottom of the letter. So as you go down there, you've got to return to the thinnest there and the thickest point there. Clear as mud. I've only said that because you're worth it. Right, so check on that's fairly dry. I'll try these highlights now and they should align and I like to finish off maybe some dots. Right, all that's needed now is to separate this overlap with some black, which I always like to do. Look at that. In fact, while I'm at it, I'll do the same up here. Right, well, the top of the board is quite uh, detailed and formal, and that's going to stay there. The detail down here will be changed each time there's a, a new event on. Right, this is getting maximum use of a pot, a Nestle coffee make pot. One, it's a, a dispenser for um, paper towels. But secondly, you can also draw around the base to make a circle. Two circles with an overlap. Come in, that, that's lovely. Right, and finally, the border. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, here's to the next time, and just to prove the music was original, here we are. Mm -hmm.